<laughs> My next guest tonight is an Oscar-nominated director, writer, and producer whose works include Precious, The Butler, Empire, and now the new television series Star. Please welcome Lee Daniels. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me on the show. Stupid mother. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I turned to the producer backstage and I said, that was so well delivered. I said, he's an actor. And then they told me that you were in my favorite TV series. What? Strangers with Candy. Oh, you like Strangers with Candy? I'm obsessed with that Strangers with Candy. you are mentally ill. <laughs> I All know. of the greatest Strangers with Candy yeah. fans have a little... Yeah, about it's my favorite TV show. You know what? I'm an actor, but I could never pull off those leather pants. Those are incredible. They're, they're not really leather. They're not leather? Uh-uh, they just look it. Oh, wow. Still, they look way better on you than they ever would on me. <laughs> you should try you. it. Hey, congratulations. Thank look you. what you just got. Huh. You I got know. a star on the Hollywood Walk <laughs> of Fame. <laughs> 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 that is great. I know. That is fantastic. What's that feel like? Because I don't have one, but obviously. You don't have one? No, I don't have one. No, no. Well, you got to get one. What? You got to get one because I got to really fit is... the pants first. They're yeah. not going to get me one. <laughs> it, it's surreal. It really is surreal because you, you realize um, I felt like Lucille Ball. I don't know. I felt, I don't know. I felt like, what, like it was. Like a chocolate factory? What I don't mean? know. I just felt like yeah, it, was, it was sort of surreal that, you know, that your body of work even. Like, I know so many people that are, that I think deserve it, that don't have it. So it was really surreal for me. S what did you do to celebrate? Like, how did you, like, so what happens when you, when they, okay, when so you do it? What happens? I got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That part I've done. And I'm supposed to not be drinking, you know, but I got drunk. And, um, and, and afterwards, like, at 3 o'clock in the morning, my boyfriend and I, at uh, 3 in the morning, I went back to the star, because I thought, I thought this was some, you know, he was playing games with me. And it was there. And, I, and we started dancing, and I Instagrammed it, and I turned, I was drunk. And I, and I pull up to these strangers on the street, and I go, do you know who Lee Daniels is? He's got a, he's got a star on the Walk of Fame. And, and they go, yeah, 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 we know. And they didn't know it was me. And then, and then, they, and then they look back up and go, hey, you, you're it. And then, we were gone. But it was fun. Wow. Yeah, it's really, that really sounds like something. It's humbling. Yeah. It's humbling. Really? It's, yeah, it's, it's humbling. Now, uh, you, you already got the big hit, uh, Empire. Mm -hmm. okay. Which, by the way, I'm really excited because Taraji and Terrence and Jesse and Trey all got uh, NAACP Image Awards nominations today, which and I'm really excited about. Congratulations, yeah. I'm excited. Now you got the new you got the new show Star coming out on Fox and uh -oh. and and they're both uh, they're both about like hip hop and the music industry. Have you always been a big fan of hip hop? No. No. No? No. No? Because no. you're, no. you're now a very I know, but my, important. look it, I feel like, hold on, because my, my music library stops at, like, Whitney Houston, I guess, a little Beyonce, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Maybe, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, I, um, so much so that my kids really t told me, like, you know, Timberland is who you got to, I didn't know who Timberland was, and when I, my first movie was Monsters Ball, mm -hmm. and um, Puff Daddy, in, in Interviewed with me, and I and I didn't know who he was. <laughs> he said, "Mr. The Daniels." Entourage didn't, you know. No, because he came off? in solo, like you know, you it's a casting office. Oh, okay. I knew who he was after because we went on um, his yacht in um, <laughs> at Cannes. He said, "Welcome to my world now," you know. So I was like, "Oh, okay, Mr. Daddy." <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Mr. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, you, you've written uh, you've written a lot of uh, really powerful, beautiful roles for women. What what draws you to that? Why why, why do you want to give voice to, to these actresses? <clears throat> um, because I think they're smarter than men. I mean, I think that they're, uh, really, yeah. Well, women women are smarter than men. Yeah. I mean, you know, no, I'm not gay men, <laughs> but men. <laughs> so there's, a, there's a hierarchy wait, here. There's a hierarchy. Yeah, here. for sure. women. Gay men, men. No, it goes gay men, women, men. Oh, okay. So the smartest people in the room are gay men. Yes, God. I did not know. I did not know that I was gay. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I was, wow. <laughs> I, was, I just thought I was a I thinker. Mean, I just think, I think that women are far more complicated, and I, and I find that they are really interesting and fascinating to, 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 to write for. Yeah. And so, mo yeah. So most of my work comes from crazy cookies and such. You know? Well, uh, you've, uh, Queen Latifah is, oh, yeah. is in Star. We have a clip here of uh, another strong woman mm -hmm. showing her strength. Jim? You, gaining all that weight, never showing up on time, acting like an amateur. And who paid for that? Me. My career. And now you're going to come up in here, you're going to try to derail me again? No. You know what? My father always said to me, you only need three things in life. Oh, yeah? What did your daddy say? He said you needed your Bible, your word, and your gun. Dangerous. <laughs> in 2009, mm -hmm. uh, you said, I am so used to having two faces, a face that I had for black America and a face for white America. Mm -hmm. When Obama became president, I lost both faces. What happens now that he's no longer president, and ha do you know where you put those faces? <laughs> do you, do you, can you still keep both of those faces off now that we're going to a different president? Do we really have to? Oh, my God. This is we do actually constitutionally have I, to go to a new president. I do. Do we? We do. We really? Do. Yeah, I checked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stupid mother. <laughs> well, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Star premieres tomorrow night on Fox. Lee Daniels, everybody. We'll be right back.